Lattice integrated a previously undisclosed sensor and effector within hours. Executed live fire intercepts that achieved four out of four kills. Hours. Not months of integration testing, not years of platform certification, hours. And the AI-powered sentry tower automatically recognized the object as a possible threat, sent a notification asking the human operator if he would like to send a ghost drone to monitor. After a click of his mouse, the drone piloted itself autonomously. One click. The system handles everything else. This is Anduril Industries, a company founded in 2017 that's now building a $1 billion manufacturing facility in Pickaway County, Ohio, to produce weapon systems faster than legacy defense contractors can update PowerPoint presentations. And what terrifies Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, and Boeing isn't that Anduril builds drones. It's that Anduril is changing how wars are fought by replacing slow, human-centric defense systems with software-driven autonomous kill webs that operate faster than any traditional military decision cycle. Let me show you why the defense industry's greatest threat isn't a competitor. It's obsolescence. The foundation is Lattice, an AI software platform that turns thousands of data streams into a real-time 3D command and control center. That description undersells what it actually does. Lattice uses data from various sources, including drones, ground sensors, and satellite feeds to create a real-time 3D battlefield map. The platform's AI algorithms can make autonomous decisions, directing dependent systems to investigate areas of interest or respond to threats without human intervention. Think about what that means operationally. Traditional defense systems require humans in every decision loop. Radar detects threat. Human confirms threat. Human selects weapon. Human authorizes engagement. Each step adds seconds or minutes. And in modern warfare, those seconds determine who survives. Lattice collapses that timeline from minutes to seconds by moving humans out of the loop and into supervision roles. Military personnel operating hardware can publish their own data to the network and subscribe to receive data feeds from other sensors in a secure environment. It's a mesh network for warfare. Every sensor feeds Lattice. Every weapon receives tasking from Lattice. And the AI coordinates everything autonomously while humans supervise at the operational level, making strategic decisions rather than tactical ones. The implications terrify legacy defense contractors because it makes their business model obsolete. Lockheed Martin sells F-35s for $85 million each. Raytheon sells missiles for hundreds of thousands. Boeing sells platforms requiring years of development and billions in procurement. Their entire revenue structure depends on exquisite, expensive systems with long development cycles and complex integration requirements. Anduril sells software and mass-producible autonomous systems. The Ghost X has a flight time of 75 minutes and a range of 25 kilometers. That's not impressive compared to Reaper drones. But when you can produce thousands of them cheaply and coordinate them through Lattice, numbers become capability. And capability scales with software updates, not hardware procurement. This is the shift from platform-centric warfare to network-centric warfare. Legacy contractors optimize individual platforms, making each F-35 more capable, each missile more precise. Andril optimizes the network, making coordination faster, integration easier, autonomy more sophisticated, and network effects compound. One F-35 is powerful. 100 autonomous drones coordinated through Lattice create effects that no single platform can match. The economics are devastating for traditional defense. Andril announced arsenal projects, hyperscale computing facilities designed to manufacture advanced autonomous weapon systems faster than near-peer American geopolitical rivals. Arsenal 1 in Columbus, Ohio represents something unprecedented, a factory that produces different autonomous systems on demand, potentially slashing production cycles from years to months while reducing costs. Compare that to legacy procurement. Developing a new aircraft takes a decade. Integrating new weapons takes years. Testing and certification consume billions. And by the time the platform reaches operational capability, the threat has evolved. Andril's arsenal approach builds modularity into manufacturing itself. Same production lines, different payloads, rapid iteration, continuous improvement. The factory operates like software development, sprint cycles replacing multi-year programs. But manufacturing is only half the revolution. The other half is autonomy and what it does to military decision making. To achieve the benefits of affordable enterprise capability, operators must be able to task teams of diverse multi-domain autonomous systems to work together and execute a given mission. This requires mission autonomy software capable of integrating and coordinating multiple vehicles, control systems, 
sensors, weapons, and other payloads to synchronize effects on the battlefield. That's not one drone conducting reconnaissance. That's swarms of autonomous systems executing coordinated missions. Multiple ghosts can reportedly link up using a conventional rule-based system to form a swarm, to relay data amongst themselves to increase effective range. One operator tasks the swarm. The swarm distributes roles autonomously. Some platforms conduct reconnaissance. Others provide communications relay. And designated strike platforms engage targets based on targeting data the swarm generated collectively. Traditional military command structures cannot operate at this speed. Hierarchical chains of command break down when decisions must happen in seconds. Army officials have described IBCS as the materiel solution that links current and future air and missile defense sensors, effectors, and mission command nodes on a single common network. That's the Army admitting traditional fire control doesn't work anymore. They need what Anduril already built, AI-powered software that compresses kill chains beyond human reaction time. And here's where legacy contractors face existential threat. Anduril's lattice on Oracle Cloud ties together those physical systems with the world's best cloud services, data management, and AI infrastructure on a hyperscale global network, across an air gap or in the field. Lattice runs on commercial cloud infrastructure. It integrates with third-party sensors. It coordinates weapons from multiple manufacturers. Anduril doesn't need to build everything. They built the operating system, and operating systems capture value across entire ecosystems. Microsoft doesn't manufacture every computer. They own the platform computers run on. Anduril doesn't manufacture every sensor or weapon. They own the platform that coordinates them. And platform economics favor the platform owner overwhelmingly. Legacy contractors become hardware vendors selling to a platform they don't control. Their margins compress. Their strategic relevance diminishes. And they cannot compete because competing requires abandoning business models that generate their current revenue. The speed of adoption reveals how desperate the military is for this capability. Lattice is a key component of other systems that the Defense Department is acquiring, such as the Army's Soldier Born Mission Command Program and United States Northern Command's Counter Small UAS Flyaway Kit. U.S. Special Operations Command has tapped Anduril to help the organization develop and deploy autonomy software that can coordinate the operations of a variety of drones and other robotic platforms on the battlefield under a three-year, $86 million deal. On February 11, 2025, Anduril took over the development and production of Integrated Visual Augmentation System from Microsoft for the United States. That last one is critical. Microsoft, a company with effectively unlimited resources and deep Pentagon relationships, lost IVAS to Anduril. That's not about money. That's about capability. Anduril integrated battlefield systems faster than Microsoft could, and the military chose speed over incumbency. International adoption accelerates the shift, Anduril Industries has delivered the first tranche of its flagship Altius loitering munitions to Taiwan as part of a foreign military sale contract signed in 2024, completed just six months after the deal was announced, six months from contract to delivery. Legacy defense contractors measure that timeline in years. The partnership has already integrated Anduril's Lattice AI software with the organization's technologies in recent joint demonstrations. Taiwan is integrating Anduril systems with domestic defense industries creating interoperability that traditional contractors struggle to achieve even between their own platforms. And Anduril is expanding beyond air and land. Ghost Shark is an autonomous submarine developed by Anduril Industries. Anduril contracted with the Royal Australian Navy and the Defense Science and Technology Group in May 2022 to produce three prototypes over three years. Autonomous submarines. The company announced plans to design, build, and launch its own fully integrated space systems by the end of 2025. Space-based assets running Lattice. Every domain, every platform, all coordinated through the same software architecture. This is what terrifies legacy contractors. Not competition in a single domain, but displacement across all domains simultaneously. Because Lattice doesn't care what platform it coordinates. It works with submarines, drones, ground vehicles, satellites, anything with sensors and weapons. And the more platforms Lattice integrates, the more valuable it becomes. Network effects compound until the system becomes indispensable. The strategic implications extend beyond procurement. Anduril and Palantir announced on December 6th that the military will be able to use the Maven and Lattice systems together. Maven is the Pentagon's primary AI targeting platform. Lattice is Anduril's autonomous coordination system. 
Together, they create an architecture that detects targets through MAVEN and prosecutes them through lattice-coordinated autonomous systems. That's the kill chain compressed to machine speed. No human deliberation, no committee approvals, just detection, classification, and engagement happening faster than adversaries can respond. Russia and China cannot replicate this. They're building exquisite platforms, SU-57s, J-20s, hypersonic missiles, but they're not building the software infrastructure that makes those platforms subordinate to network-level coordination. Their militaries remain hierarchical, their procurement remains platform-centric, and their doctrine assumes humans make engagement decisions. Andoral systems operate where humans supervise engagement decisions but don't make them in real time. That's the difference between reacting and acting, between completing your OODA loop and having AI complete it for you, between fighting at human speed and fighting at machine speed. And machine speed wins, always. The future Andoral is building isn't hypothetical. Fury was selected alongside General Atomics to compete for the first increment of the United States Air Force's Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program in April 2024. Collaborative Combat Aircraft, autonomous drones flying wingman to manned fighters. The Andoral developed YFQ-44A Collaborative Combat Drone is semi-autonomous and slated to work in concert with a broad range of U.S. military assets. Not replacing pilots, multiplying them. One pilot commanding multiple autonomous platforms, each platform expendable, each platform coordinated through lattice, each platform executing missions humans supervise but don't micromanage. Why does Andoril terrify the defense industry? Because they're proving that future conflicts will be decided by software velocity, not platform size. That autonomy plus AI plus mass production breaks traditional military economics. That humans belong in supervision roles, not execution loops. And that legacy contractors optimized for a warfare paradigm that ended the moment Lattice demonstrated four kills in four attempts after integrating an undisclosed system within hours. The defense industry isn't competing with Andoril anymore. They're competing with obsolescence, and obsolescence is winning.